Good morning. Nice to see you again. How are you? I hope you're doing okay and I hope you're ready to learn together today. The first thing we're going to do is our word source, but it's going to be a new activity. It's called a word hunt. We've tried it in class before. Remember when we thought about the rules of our word source and then we tried to think of other words that follow the same rule? So today we're going to do a word sort for hunting for words. For example, we'll look for words that start with SC, SN, and SW. When we're done, you're going to try doing some hunting yourself. Are you ready? Before we start the word hunt, I want you to write in your journal, word hunt and the date. Then write SC, SN, and SW. We're going to write the new words here in our journal. Write it down. Okay, are you ready? We're going to start our word hunt. Hunt means to look for something or trying to find something to catch. We're going to hunt for some words. This is a picture of a scale. Maybe you have a scale in your bathroom you use to weigh yourself. This is another picture of a scale. Here's also some scales. A fish has scales on its body. Each piece is one scale. All of them together are the scales. Let's write this word down in your word hunt in your journal. Scales. S C A L E S. Scales. Harry Potter has a scar on his forehead. Scar. S C A R. Scar. Do you have any scars on your body? Scrape. Sometimes when we fall down, we scrape ourselves. Scrape. S C R A P E. Scrape. <gasps> A scorpion! Scorpions are scary and dangerous. Scorpion. S C O R P I O N. Scorpion. Did you even did you ever see a scorpion before? Scuba. Did you know Miss Cherish knows how to scuba dive? Scuba. S C U B A scuba Oh the puppy is snuggling with the baby snuggle snuggle S N U G G L E snuggle snuggle They are also snuggling Oh, cute puppy snuggling in the arm. Snip. We snip when we cut our hair. Snip, snip. Snip is another way to say cut. Snip. S-N-I-P. Snip. Ooh, snacks. I know that you love snacks. Snacks. S. N A C K S snacks. Mmm, chips are a great snack, but not very healthy. Ooh, sneeze. Gross. S N E E Z E sneeze. We always have to cover our mouth when we sneeze or cough, okay? Snore. 
Oh no, he is snoring. Snore. S N O R E. Snore. Snowball. Have you ever made a snowball before? Snowball. S N O W B A L L. Snowflake. S N O W F L A K E. Snowflake. That's a snowman. That's one of our word sorts already. Swatter. Those are fly swatters. S W A T T E R S. Remember, we're writing all these words in our word source journal, okay? Swatter under S W. Swirl. Swirl. Mmm, I love to eat an ice cream swirl. S W I R L. Swirl. Mmm, vanilla chocolate swirl. Swamp. They are in a swamp. A swamp is not like a river and it's not like a lake. This is a swamp. S W A M P swamp. Swamps don't have very deep water. They have a lot of plants and trees. Ooh, this is my favorite. Sweets. Especially sour sweets. S W E E T S. What kind of sweets do you like? Mmm, cupcakes. Mmm, chocolate. Sweets. Sweat. When you exercise, you sweat. S W E A T. Sweat. That's our last word sort for our word hunt today. I hope you wrote down all these words. Can you think of any other words that start with? S N, S C, or S W? I can think of one that I've seen at the playground before. Anything else? I don't think there are many, but if you think of any, write them down in our word hunt, okay? When you're done with your word sorts, they should look something like this all the S C words together, all the S N words together, and all the S W words together. Okay? Now that we're done with our word sorts, we're going to start our reading log and go to Rats Kids and read a book called Blue's Blue, I think. Okay? Let's start reading. All right, we're going to read a book called Blue's Flu. Blue's Flu. Aching. That means something in your body that's hurting. Flu, when a type of sickness. Groaning is like the noise, oh, like this. Moaning is very similar to groaning. Oh. Sneezing, hachoo. And wheezing, like when you can't breathe, like wheezing. Okay. Flu is sneezing. Lou is wheezing. Lou is sick. He has the flu. What's one thing Lou should not do? He should not sneeze on Brother Stu. Yet he did. That silly kid. Now Stu also has the flu. Stu is moaning. Oh, Stu is groaning. Oh, Stu is sick. He has the flu. What's one thing Stu should not do? He should not cough on Sister Sue. Achoo! Or, <coughs> yet he did. 
That silly kid. Now Sue also has the flu. Sue is aching. Sue is shaking. Sue is sick. She has the flu. What's one thing Sue should not do? She should not share with Brother Drew. Yet she did. That silly kid. Now Drew also has the flu. Oh, Lou, oh, Lou, what did you do? You gave everyone your flu. Next time, this is what to do. Wash your hands. Don't, ste don't sneeze on stew. What else can you do if you have the flu, boys and girls? We're going to write about our favorite character today. Get your journal ready. Now that I read Lou's flu, we're going to write about it. Today's question is, who was your favorite character? And why? Hmm. My favorite character was Lou. He's always sick and getting other people sick. That part was not nice. I only liked him in the end when he washed his hands and covered his mouth when he coughed, when he coughed or sneezed. Boys and girls, now it's your turn. Go to Raz Kids. I want you to choose a book that has characters this time. So not an information book, a story book. When you're done, write in your journal who was your favorite character and explain why. Remember saying things like because, da 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 da. And then don't forget your name, please. All right, pause the video, get started. Now it's time for us to do our daily journal. Today's daily journal is going to be about things that we do to help around the house. Miss Veronica was telling me that she was cleaning the house earlier this week. Let's call Miss Veronica and see what she did. Hi, how are you? How are you? I'm good. How are you doing, Miss Veronica? I am fine, but a little bored. I miss the kids at school. And you? Yeah, I miss them too. I'm trying to stay busy, but it's hard staying home. Yeah. Oh, so I'm calling because we're doing our daily journal. And I wanted to, oops, I wanted to make sure, I wanted to get some ideas actually for our daily journal about things that you're doing at your house. Okay, I woke up this morning at 7 a.m. Uh, I did some yoga. Mm -hmm. Then I cook my breakfast and my lunch. Ah. Yeah, it took me like two hours. Mm -hmm. And then I a deep clean on my, in my room and in my living room. Oh, yeah. Lunch at 12 o'clock. Uh -huh. Yeah. And that's it. I see. Well, in the morning, I try to exercise too. I do some jumping jacks. I like to do yoga and find videos on YouTube. And of course, cleaning. We have to stay busy. It's nice to be able to help around the house. But I also miss the school and the teachers. Yeah, me too. Okay, I think I have some ideas now for our daily journal. Thanks for helping me. Okay. Okay, I'll see, see you later. Tomorrow. Bye. Bye. Now that we watched Miss Veronica and I talking about things that we do around the house, you're going to write in your journal, what do you do around the house? I'm going to write, look at my example. Exercise. For example, I have 
example to you. At my house, I like to help clean all the rooms. I sweep and mop. Sometimes I also exercise. For example, I love yoga. Then I clean and make videos. I also play with my pet hedgehog, Milo. Boys and girls, it's your turn now. Write in your journal, what do you do around the house? Pause the video now. Hello, did you finish all of your daily journal? Yesterday, I loved reading all the things that you did over the weekend. A lot of you made brownies and cookies, like a lot. This is my pet hedgehog, Milo. He's really shy. Say hello. Okay, we made it to the end of the video, boys and girls. Thank you for staying with me and thank you for working hard. Now you're going to go find our guided reading videos, practice your listening, your reading, and your speaking skills, okay? I'll see you in the next video. Bye. Bye.